How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar. Now, it's a pretty terrible day to try to harvest any of the sun's energy, but that does make for a great day to use this 7,500 watt continuous load generator and try to charge this EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra unit. Now, I've been testing out this Ultra unit after EcoFlow sent it over to me about a month back in combination with the smart panel two behind me, I'm able to power this house and really cycle the battery and test out all the functionality. One key point that I wanna test out today is how fast can we charge this? What is the maximum amount of power that we can bring into the Ultra unit and charge the batteries up? Currently, we only have one battery slice here on the bottom, which is six kilowatt hours. But remember, you can stack five of these batteries up for a total of 30 kilowatt hours under one of these units. And then in combination with the smart panel two, technically that unit can bring in three stacks for a total of 90 kilowatt hours. So you're talking about a whole nother level of capability. Earlier, I had tested out the charging capability from the side port. This is an Infinity Plus port and through two different adapters, one, I was able to test that out at an EV car charger and two, I was able to plug it directly into the generator that you saw earlier. Now the maximum charging speed is well below what I was expecting, but that was because it was early firmware since this is a beta test unit. But now we have the updated firmware and we should be able to push this to 6,000 watts. So I wanna run it from 10% battery all the way up to 95% battery, the full cycle to see how long it takes and do we get any resets. So let's go plug in that generator, get everything powered up and start charging this unit. Now this unit has a push start, which is nice and it just cycles through. I'll go through a few choke cycles and then we'll be able to get everything up and running. Now it's up and running. I'll go ahead and plug in our 30 amp cord here. And then once everything's plugged into the generator inlet, I'll go ahead and flip our switch. Then going downstairs in the basement, I'll go to the smart panel two. I'll turn off the 100 amp breaker going to the grid, turn on the 30 amp breaker coming from that generator inlet. Everything will flip back on. And now I'm able to check the app for the smart panel two. I can see over six kilowatts coming in, a little bit going to the house, but most of that is going to the ultra unit. So what we wanna see is over six kilowatts because we can, be, we can see under 100 watts of solar. So we're not gonna get much solar during this test. It's really all gonna to have to come from that generator. Now early going, we we're easily able to maintain over 6,000 watts and here's a time lapse as we go through the teens and into the 20% of our battery charge level. Additional tests that I wanted to run during this charging cycle was using a FLIR thermal imaging camera to see if there's any hot spots. The hottest we could see is as expected from the cooling grids coming out and that was just over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I wanted a cycle of about 10 minutes where I was providing most of the power from the actual genset unit to the house circuits and different appliances. How I did this is I set a heavy load of over six kilowatts from our central air unit, which is a heat pump system and pulls a lot of power. Then I would turn that off and there was a little bit of a hiccup there in that transition. When I pulled that six kilowatts off of the home appliances and home system, and wanted to put that back on charging the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, it did flip a relay where I had to go back into the app and tell it to charge the battery. Now, once I flipped that switch, then we did ramp right back up to getting the full over six kilowatts charging power going into the Ultra. So we charged from 10% up to 95% or added 85% of the battery's capacity. And overall, the cycle took 54 minutes. So that's pretty much as expected. If we were providing six kilowatts and everything was perfect for one hour, well, we should charge the six kilowatt hour battery. Now we are only adding 85%, so obviously that's gonna be less than six kilowatt hours. But remember, we had that cycle where we are pulling some of the power to the house opposed to charging the battery. So at least from my stance, this was a very encouraging test. That one hiccup from transitioning the heavy load from the house to going back to charging where I had to do some type of manual intervention through the app might be an area for improvement. But remember, this unit and the Smart Panel 2 are not even in production yet. Those will go out in production where you can buy them after January 9th of 2024. Now, how long will it take to get your units? I'm not sure, but there are some coupon codes where if you know you want an Ultra, you can save over $1,000 and kind of get your spot in line. So I'll add a link below 
upload this video in the description for you. Now I have this set up here and I'm gonna keep testing. So if you guys have any feedback, certain things that you want, details that you want, just let me know down in the descriptions and I'll try to add those to future videos. If you wanna go deeper on the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, kind of the inputs, the outputs, and look a lot closer to this actual unit, you can check out this video right here. And that's that first look that I went through that will give you a whole lot more details. And then after January 2024, you can check out a video right here, which is more on the installation of the Smart Panel 2, which EcoFlow does recommend that it should be done by a licensed electrician. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.